The Guanaco herds divide the Torres del Baine brushland and pre-desert into marked territorial areas. Each group has a dominant male, which does not allow any of the adolescents to mate with its females, and an inflexible hierarchy is established. In the mating season, these dominant males have to reaffirm their position in the face of new candidates, and there are frequent chases, biting, and spitting of gastric juices and partially digested matter. In the same way as the Patagonians admired the Guanaco, the Incas worshipped the condor like a god. For them, it was the lord of the Andes, a mythological animal which inspired them with respect and veneration. In Patagonia, however, they have been hunted since time immemorial. The fact that they appeared shortly after the death of an animal led man to think that the condors killed them and the legend of the hunter condor spread rapidly. It was even said that they had carried away small children by catching them in their claws. Despite its menacing appearance, the condor is an animal incapable of killing large animals. The back toe of their claw is too high, which prevents them from closing it so that they cannot attack, hold down or tear apart their possible prey, lesser still, carry them off in flight. The Andean condor is the largest bird of prey in the world and the largest flying bird. With a span of almost 4 meters and weighing up to 12 kilos, this majestic flyer requires air currents in order to fly. Its enormous muscles only allow it to make 30 consecutive wing movements before falling in exhaustion, which is why they are generally to be seen planing in circles until reaching heights of over 6,000 meters. When Darwin penetrated into this region in 1883 following the course of the river Santa Cruz, he wrote, the general impression of the spirit is one of complete and despairing sterility. A few days later, however, he was able to contemplate the snow-capped peaks of the Andes 
and felt recompensed for all his efforts. This is Patagonia, austere yet full of surprises, with a bitter climate and tortured landscapes, but with extraordinary nature. In April 1978, the Torres del Paine National Park joined the network of UNESCO Biosphere Reserves. This came in recognition for its enormous importance within the network of South American nature reserves and as a guarantee for the preservation of the ecosystems and species of this isolated and wild corner of Chilean Patagonia. <laughs>